Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTube video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world that people call professional wrestling, guys. You can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on... Grayson Waller, before I share my thoughts and opinions, I would love to know what your thoughts are on him down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Of course, you do not have to if you do not want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. But when it comes to Grayson Waller, I know that he spent some time on the independent scene, I think he did Australian Survivor or Australian Big Brother, one of the two, some reality show down in Australia uh, and whatnot. So he has one experience in professional wrestling to my knowledge and two experience either way on television. But I had no idea who he was before uh, his NXT debut in 2021 kind of deal. And from his debut, up until now, I really like it, kind of deal. Like, he maybe not, like, my favorite NXT superstar, but he is definitely, if I had to do a top three or top five, it would be him, a couple of other people, pretty deadly, kind of deal. Like, those are, for sure, top five, maybe even top three, kind of deal. For myself, personally, is he good in the ring? Yeah, is he, like, mind-blowing, amazing, uh, and whatnot? No, and that's nothing on him. The very few people are the best of the best, so to speak, but he's still really good. He can definitely hold his own uh, on uh, the wrestling, or in the wrestling ring, on the mic kind of deal. I just find him super entertaining kind of deal, especially his kind of talk show-esque kind of deal, the Grayson Waller effect, how he does it on Instagram Live while also being on NXT TV. I uh, really like that. And like I said, he's one of my favorites to watch in recent NXT uh, TV and whatnot. So for myself personally, as much as I would want to see him as a champion, as a main player, in uh like nxt kind of deal like nxt north american or nxt champion that kind of stuff i would honestly not gonna lie kind of want to see him on raw and or smackdown kind of deal because i like somebody like grayson waller that kind of I don't know, like, him and Carmelo Hayes are, the, for myself, perf myself personally, the perfect people from NXT to be called up to uh, WWE, like, main roster uh, kind of stuff and whatnot. But yeah, for myself personally, I don't see him being called up until the new year, probably, kind of deal. But I wouldn't be against him being called up as soon as possible and whatnot, but those are kind of my initial thoughts and reaction to uh, Grayson Waller. Uh, do I like him? Yeah, is he my fave five for sure, especially in NXT uh, and whatnot, but yeah, those are kind of my thoughts and opinions. Would love to know what yours are down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Of course, you do not have to if you do not want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly than doing any of that hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself lying to myself yeah because i just crossed the line like i'm playing offside i do it how i want and i'm gonna do it till i die i feel like i'm just lying to myself but it's